I think ironically you have this segment today because it's my birthday this weekend. <laughs> you guys were trying to nudge me. As we age, there are certain things we must think about to protect ourselves and our families. And of course, estate planning should be at the top of the list, but it's something that probably many of us don't think about. Or don't want to necessarily talk about. Today we're introducing you to one of our newest experts at WTV.com, attorney David Carrier. Great to have you here. Yeah, those conversations. Where do you begin? Well, that's the that's frequently a, a problem. You know, how do you get the conversation started? You know, uh, when your kids are growing up, you have the talk. You know, the, the birds and the bees right, talk, right? right. Um, but as you age, you know, as people get older, now the kids are adults, you need to have that other talk. What's going to happen when mom and dad aren't here anymore? And it's frequently, it's a very, very difficult to get that, that conversation started. Uh, I know in my own family, uh, when I... So it's not like I'm not, I don't know this stuff, but uh, uh, whenever I bring it up, my mom was like, oh, David, you know, <laughs> yeah. my dad was like, sure, we got to do that and go off and do something else. Um, to, the, to the point where uh, when my mom was, uh, was dying a couple years ago, uh, I was home. I'm from Cape Cod originally, and so I'm one of the parachute kids, you know. Okay. And uh, so I was home for a, a week or so at that time, and I asked my dad, you know, what kind of funeral arrangements have you made? And he's like, yeah, good idea. Take care of that, will you? <laughs> yeah. No and discussion. That's the conversation. Yeah. yeah. So what we do in the in the practice is we have these life plan workshops or estate planning essential workshops, and the point of the workshop is to provide a place where, the, and frequently we have the kids and the parents, or you know sometimes the parents by themselves, sometimes the kids by themselves. Um, and when I say kids, I mean us. <laughs> we're the kids. Yeah, yeah. we're the yeah. kids. They're the kids these days, and. Uh, it's just a way to get the conversation started where uh, nobody has to trick anybody into having it. You know, this is what we're here for. It's a very, you know, you had uh, uh, Mr. Johnson, the, the caterer here, you know, I'm thinking, you know, we don't offer that. Well, we, we, we do fresh baked cookies, you know. Okay. We have oatmeal <laughs> That's all right. Cookies. That's the information okay. yeah, is valuable. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's interesting, David, because I think of different stages that we're at in life. Right. And mm -hmm. um, in some ways, you, you kind of consider my... It, it's almost irresponsible to not think about what would happen to your kids yeah. if they're small when right. if something would to ha were to happen to both parents and that's a part of the conversation that's too. exactly right it's especially important you know here's the thing if let's say if your parents my dad messes up his estate plan well, what's at stake money money right and his choices his choices on how he's going to live, uh, he's 87 now, the rest of his life, you know, his choices will be affected. Uh, but if you have minor children and you screw up your estate plan, well, you're talking about a kid now, you know, your, your kids who get their inheritance at age 18. I mean, how much money do you think it takes to put a kid in therapy for the rest of their life? Yeah, probably more than would be in my estate at this point. Yeah. It's wrong. <laughs> it takes $40,000. Okay. You give a kid $40,000 on his 18th birthday, that kid will be in therapy the rest of his life. Wow. You know, you're, not, you're just too young to be making smart. And it doesn't have to be that way. And you have, how many kids? I have three kids, two in college, two are actually adults now, and right. then I have a 13-year-old. So what sense does it make to divide by three? I mean, you've got two kids who are in college, you've got one who's 13, hasn't even started high school. Right. See, f when you're dealing with minor children, equal is not fair. Right. And you've got to set it up that way. And then there are all kinds of issues that come about, of course, when, as people get older, as well. Living but, wills? Right, yeah. right. The, the advanced directives and who's going to make these decisions and what's important to you. You know, we, uh, too often, I think, uh, we're viewed as, oh, well, we're hanging on to the money, hanging on to the money. Well, yeah, it's important to do that because money is choices. You have money, you get to make choices. Um, but what choices do you want? Mm -hmm. Well, we do an advanced directive that's very much a, a lifestyle. What do you like to eat? What do you like to watch on TV? And, and when we finally get into this in the conversation with clients, people are like, you're really asking me these questions. I didn't. <laughs> I right. thought you were kidding. And you know, you know what? What is the definition of a regular family, too? I mean, there are so many non-traditional families and extended families and step families and multiple parents. And right. Whose responsibility is it? I mean, it could get. You know, you said it earlier. Relationships can be really complicated, and sometimes well-intentioned thoughts get muddled, and you know, because you're not sure what direction to go in. But and the good news is, the good news is, there's a solution for all this. I mean, you're not the first blended family that's come down the pike. You're not the first one. In my own family, I have three kids in their 20s and a three-year-old. 
okay, I got some issues. Right. You know? uh, but there are solutions for these issues. There, there are ways to deal with it. Tried and true, they really do work. Uh, but what works in your family is not what works next door, is what, not what works down the street. It's got to be for you, and that's where the Life Plan Workshops come in, because you've got to get that conversation started. You know, lots of times the kids will say, uh, you know, in the, in the uh, car ride home from the workshop, mm -hmm. my parents started telling me stuff that, you know, for the last 50 years I never heard. Right. And, but, because it's just, you know, you there are all these techniques out there you know for how kids are supposed to talk to their parents oh bring it up like this or bring it up hey listen your parents can see you coming right you know you try these okay. you know sideways in. it's it's the relationship between the parent and the child it's that parent child relationship that makes it difficult right but when you get a third party involved you have to take the emotions. You diffuse the emotions that are there, and you're experts at doing that. You have some great workshops coming up that really pr will provide a framework for families to begin these very important conversations. Why don't you tell people about those? Sure. We, we do the workshops every week, um, every uh, every other Saturday, and then one day during the week we'll do the, uh, the workshop to get, as I say, to get the conversation started. It's a small group. We fresh bake the... Uh, the okay, <laughs> Could, the cookies are cookies. there, but you did say seating is limited, so you need to call ahead yeah, definitely to do. reserve your seat. Right. Okay. And the Black Friday workshops are coming up in just about a week. We, we yeah. started those a uh, few years ago. I was thinking, you know, the holiday season, people mm -hmm. are getting together. Right. After Thanksgiving, why yeah. not bring that conversation you started at the table over here. Oh, you know, after you've done your shopping, come on in and uh, sign up for one of the free, uh, the Black Friday workshops. Um, we'll have, you know, 50, 60 people Great. at two workshops. So we try to keep them small. Well, David, we are so happy to have you here. You're going to be a regular part of the 8 West family right. because we could have this conversation extend yeah. Yeah. for hours, seriously. <laughs> lots of questions. Um, Wait, so lots of questions. <laughs> and uh, we will definitely uh, be in touch with David. Your information on our website at the Ask the Expert area. And, uh, of course, uh, They'll be regularly appearing here on 8 West as well. We'll be right back. Are you Thank West? You,